Now we'll talk about expanded form. If you understand place value, you can take a number such as 297 and write it in expanded form. You can expand the number and you do this by expanding each place. And here's an example. The 2, 9, and 7. The 2 means two hundreds or 2 times 100. So we can write 2 times 100 and enclose that in parentheses. The 9 means 90 or 9 times 10. So I can write plus 9 times 10 and put the 9 times 10 in parentheses too. And the 7 is 7 ones, so I can write plus 7 times 1. So we indicate how many hundreds we have, how many tens we have, and how many ones we have. And 297, you can see, is equal to 2 times 100 plus 9 times 10 plus 7 times 1. Now, there aren't really many places or many instances when you need to do this, when you need to take a number and write it in expanded form. But you need to be able to because if you're able to do this, it shows that you understand place value. The regular way that, we're typically, that we typically write a number, 297, is called standard form, and this is called expanded form. So we'll do a couple of examples here. Write these numbers in expanded form that you see next in the notes. 815 and 4,372, and then in the, the next video we'll look at the solution. So go ahead and try those two on your own, 815 and 4,372, and then make sure you get the correct answer. Okay, in these examples we're told to write these numbers in expanded form. 815 is 8 times 100 plus 1 times 10 plus 5 times 1. 4,372 is 4 times 1,000 plus 3 times 100 plus 7 times 10 plus 2 times 1. And obviously we could go on into even larger numbers with the 10 thousands place and the 100 thousands place and so on. And we'll talk about the different place values next.